already. And and all right, let's go. Anyways. Welcome to another episode of Bunch of Durants, and this is going to be more of a serious episode. And the reason why um, we're making this video, it's basically because we want to be able to share our thoughts in regards to the Shane Dawson and the Jake Paul uh, uh, collaboration that they're doing. Um, obviously, you now, first of all, like we know that we don't have a big fan base. And that's obviously that's fine with us. Mm -hmm. um, but the thing is, like, we we love watching Shane Dawson's conspiracy videos. We find them very entertaining, so we're a big fan. Um, but to a certain limit, they are not allowed to watch other videos like of 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 Shane of Shane Dawson, by the way. Um, um, and it's not that we are anti or homophobic, nothing like that. It's basically, um, you know, even though we love Shane Dawson, but we also do find that some of his videos, not all of them, but some of his videos, uh, some of his videos are also filled with bad, bad words. That we can't see. And just bad, not bad, but just things that obviously kids shouldn't be watching. Right? Yeah. Right? Is there something you guys want to add to that? First of all, will we continue? We can continue. Okay. So, yeah. So, I mean, we love Shane Dawson and we love yeah. his fears. We love his conspiracy videos. But, um, so we started watching the, um, the conspiracy videos that, I'm not, I'm sorry, the, um, the, uh, Jake Paul, uh, <coughs> documentary. Jake Paul the, the Jake Paul documentary series that he's making. And we find it very fast, at least I find it very fascinating, um, of what's going on. I find it entertaining. Yeah. And, and even though we know who Jake Paul and Logan Paul and then other families as well as, Pam um, Paul, Greg Paul. Um, but like, I mean, we're big YouTube fans, and that's where we're doing what we're doing. Um, but we strive at least um, to be able to provide positive family content. That is basically our primary goal: is to make sure that we provide good family content for you guys. And at the same time, they know that even though um, we're not up in in the level of either Jake Paul or Shane or other YouTube families like the EB, we love them as well. Um, and, and we love watching their videos and that's where we get some ideas as well. Um, but there is a lot of content out there that we assume, well we don't assume, but we know that it's not positive content, something that they should be watching. Um, so we stay away from that, they know that, but I also want them to know the difference between um, what is fake and what is real in the YouTube world um, they were watching the YouTube, I'm sorry, the Jake, uh, the Shane's documentary series. Um, I was watching it by myself, and then I had them watch it together, and I wanted to get their feedback on what it is that they saw, how do they feel about what they saw, and, uh, what's their opinions on it. So, what do you guys think, first of all? Um, obviously you guys know what Jake Paul is, right? Yeah. And you've seen a few of his videos, right? Mostly all of them. Oh, mostly all of them, and you find them interesting. Yeah. Too. Do you think uh, this is for both? Right? Do you think that he would be? I mean, this is your your opinion, of course. You find him to be a positive influence or a negative influence? Not completely. Not, we're not calling him a terrible person. We're not calling anyone out there a terrible person. But do you find his content to be a bit more of an adult content or a young based content? I would say I find it like old, in the middle, like an older content. Because right. some of his videos, he says. What the children shouldn't be doing, and like says, don't do this when you're young. But like he cre he says bad words, 
and he does adult stuff mm -hmm. in his videos. Yeah? yeah. What else? Anything to add? No. no. What about when you're watching, let's just say, uh, the EB family? How do you guys feel about the EB family? This is my opinion. So, find it entertaining, but a little bit weird. You think it's more for you or for a younger base, an older base? Like, let's say younger base. Like Six like to 12. Six to twelve years old. And how old are you? Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, anyways, we can see the difference between what, um, what, the two different. See, I don't want to cat categorize stuff, but you see the differences in content. Uh, we want to be in the. Not that I'm calling bad. I mean, I guess it sounds it. It's weird, but um, we're not calling people. We're not calling out any people. We're saying it's like bad content, but it's content that shouldn't be for a certain view a viewer. Um, we want to be able to provide good content for everyone to enjoy. Um, we're a good Christian family. I mean, we're not a perfect Christian family, but we do our scripture studies. Um, we try to follow the Word of God and everything, apply it into our lives. And of course, we're not perfect, so we do have fights, we have arguments, we have disagreements. It's it's part of life. Um, but I want to make sure that that you know. Um, so okay. So I'm watching the documentary series, and, and I'm thinking in my head, if I'm Jake Paul, and if I'm making so much money, um, and I have a certain kind of base, um, I mean, what if, like, let's just say, if it's all fake, what am I going to be expecting now from my fans? Um, either I have hate, <coughs> either I'm being hated, I'm still being hated or something, but I guess what I'm doing, I'm, I'm being him. If I'm being him, I'm being hated and it's working for me, it's working good for my pockets, even though I'm being hated, my investors are, get their pockets are getting heavier, what do I do? Um, there's been, obviously as you guys may know, there's been a lot of a lot of his friends from Team 10 that have left them behind and have talked so much smack about them. I've seen their videos, their YouTube videos, and... I haven't heard of any response so far from Jake just calling people out like, hey, blah, 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 blah. And all these other people that have left them have talked so much smack about them. So then I'm watching now the Shane uh, documentary series. And I'm kind of getting to see his side of the, of, of, of what, what, his side of the, of, uh, point of view. Side of his point of view. Um, and not that I'm saying he's been a bad guy has been a good guy but I mean you could see on his videos that um, on Shane's docuseries that he is a regular person with feelings and emotions and they're calling him a sociopath and the whole thing which I'm not going to get into that field but basically I just want to be able to say that from what I feel I saw him being a regular person a regular person with issues um, he's got investors I'm assuming he's got investors people that are probably confident constantly on his back like hey you need to do this we're not we need to make more we need to make more what does he do if being a bad guy works for him should he continue being that that's the problem um and if it's and if and if it works for him and investors are, investors are telling him to continue doing it because it's working what do you do if you're him you know do you continue to still be hated on even though you can't um uh i guess make a a video commenting back of people that have really hated on him or have um, left the team and talk so much smack about him. So I kind of feel that at his point, um, my opinion of course is that um, I don't think he's a sociopath. I think that he's just a regular boy, a young man um, who wasn't raised with very loving moral values. So I guess I'm kind of throwing it out there to his parents, um, you know. And then of course I find out about this Greg guy, Greg Paul. I started watching a couple of his videos. And I just couldn't watch him. I could see that his dad is kind of like using his his own kids' um, life to kind of make himself look cool. And I mean, when you're like 40 or 50 plus, me I'm 42. I don't consider myself cool or trying to dress cool or whatever but I mean it just doesn't work it looks lame um, so I'll leave, I'll leave it at that but I kind of want to make this video to kind of get their points of view as young children I think my points of view I mean I'm, and again again I'm not calling him a bad person or a good person but I think he's just an average guy um, who has investors 
or has someone who has probably influenced him throughout his whole life telling him what to do. And I could kind of, I don't know, I guess I could kind of see a little bit of a sadness, of sadness in his face. Um, he's got that look of like the, just, he doesn't know what's going on kind of kind of look. Um, but I, I'm, I'm willing to give him the benefit of the doubt because I think what he does or what he's been doing um, has been basically to um, make his investors' pockets even heavier. Um, in the case that he was to just say, hey, you know what, everything's fake, blah, 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 what's going to happen? You know, what if he continues what he's doing, what's going to happen? So, you know, I mean, it, it's, he's going to do obviously what he's going to do. Um, I do wish him the best, I wish, but in our personal view, and I mean, in our, in this family household, we want to make sure that we provide the best content that's positive for families. Um, you know, I try to, I try to raise these kids pretty well. Uh, as much as I can, of course, um, you know, they each to have their own personalities that we have to adjust to, but at the same time, I am not going to allow, let's just say, him to be bullying him just so that we could get views. It's not going to work. If we have 103, 100 plus subscribers, that's awesome. If we get a thousand and up to whatever, it's awesome because we work hard for that content and being able to work uh, with each other uh, in providing the best, just loving fun silly uh, videos then that's awesome but I am not uh, gonna allow belittling, uh, belittling bullying um, what do you call it um, just just bad negative content just for views or subscribers for it's money it's not worth it it's really not and we're not in it to be famous at all we're not in it if someone pulls up and says hey oh my god the budget around guys that's awesome we would love to sit down and shake a hand or whatever it's <coughs> totally good we're not in it for the fame no Honestly, I'm in it for... Um, we just do it for fun. For the fun and everything. And of course, you know, we want to be able to make sure that we provide the best con content because we know that there isn't that much positive content out there. And, I mean, I am, of course, um, uh, uh, going to be in that, that, um, that category that watches bad content on YouTube because I find it entertaining. But I know my level is that if I see someone trying to beat up on this other person, and that's bad. I know what's bad and I know what's good. So that so if I'm doing something bad, I'm going to be accountable for that as well as something good. Again, they're young, so they do understand, but they're not fully understandable. So when I'm pro when we're providing positive content, I mean we're no we you know we're being good a good family or at least we try to. Um, we know that our our viewers are hopefully doing the same thing. You know, hopefully they pick up their camera and start recording themselves and maybe because of us to do the same thing. But I would be uh, a punk if I was to be providing negative content. And next thing you know, little kids out there are doing the same things that I'm doing. Hurting themselves or hurting other people. You know, this world needs more love than it needs more hate. Yeah. More hate, more bullying and all that. You know, that needs to stop. So that's my point of view. And I would love to hear you guys' point of view in regards to what we've been watching. What kind of, fun, what kind of content you guys like watching on YouTube. What do you think... Um, should happen. What's going on? What I would like to watch on YouTube is um, gaming, reacting videos, and reaction, yeah, reaction videos, reaction videos, and and also challenge videos. Like as in sports challenges, <laughs> just like dance challenge. Like we're we just yeah. finished wa uh, we just finished doing the Fortnite dance challenge. I suck. <laughs> <Wait> <laughs> Uh, but it was fun. It's so much fun. I mean, stuff that I've never done. But anyway, stuff like that. So, yeah, I mean, myself, I like watching DIY videos, car videos on how to do things. Um, I do like watching, I love watching uh, documentaries, uh, conspiracy theories. Yeah, I do too. Like watching um, Fail, like Fail Army. That's just, I'm always watching Fail Army. Um, and uh, what about you? I like watching... Like, um, like funny stuff, <coughs> funny stuff, and like, <coughs> like kid funny um, stuff, like kid like, funny stuff, like animated kid funny stuff, mm -hmm. and like um. Who would you say are your, your um, your uh, what do you call it um, who you follow? Who I like, like, yeah, like, like watching on YouTube. Who do you think? Who are the the uh, 
the channels that are your favorite channels? Um, Team Edge. Mm hmm Corey Kenshin, which doesn't say any better words. <laughs> and, like, uh, stuff that Evan watches. Evan watches? What do you watch, Evan? Shane Dawson, um, Team Edge, Ninja, Dr. Lupo, and, um, Corey Kenshin. And then sometimes other stuff, like random YouTubers stuff. <coughs> sometimes Ali A to see how to play. And also reaction time. And yeah. Sometimes guava juice. And then also, I mean we can't we can't uh, not say that we don't watch. Um oh, yeah. that's your alarm? I mean, obviously, we're not going to be hypocrites <coughs> about it, so we do watch some Jake Paul, some Logan Paul videos. Used to. Yeah. And, and I mean, <coughs> you know, he does have some, some, some good entertaining videos. But, again, you know, there's a point where you have to limit yourself from watching what you should be watching what you shouldn't be watching. Anyways, that's our thoughts. We hope that, um, you know, you found this uh, video inter in interesting. It's just our opinion, you know. So our opinion does count, but at the same time, you know, hopefully it does make a difference in regards to those that are watching us. Thank you guys, our subscribers. Um, we really hope that, that you guys do find our content uh, family positive based because that's what we're striving for. And hopefully we're able to um, uh, get more uh, subscribers and not just, it, not just because we want a big fan base. It's not that. It's basically we want our content to be like like um funny no it's uh, uh this is a, a bad word to use and i don't mean it like in any bad way but like cancer to be infecting a lot of people and spreading you know good positive family content again i keep saying that but yeah spread the love basically let's spread the love out there enough of the hate enough of the internet bullying um you know negative comments and all that because i see it all the time not on our channel Thank God. Um, but maybe one day we will be getting that. And you know what? It's going to be sad, but it's not going to affect us. We're still, we still know who we are. And uh, we know what we need to do. You know, as long as we keep God in our life, you know, nothing else uh, will, will hurt us. So, you know, we, we know who we are. And uh, hopefully, we know, hopefully it really doesn't change us at all. Uh, money, does change, change, money does tend to change people. But um, with God in your life, everything's possible. So, you know what, um, anything you guys want to leave, save for the end, I mean, you're done, you good? Mm -hmm. And, you know, the best advice that we could give out there is watch a bunch of their rants. <laughs> yeah. well, I mean, also just like make sure, <clears throat> mm -hmm. like, whenever you come up to a video, just make sure, like, if it's, if you think it's good content or bad content, whether it shows on the, the thumbnail or what it says on the... Or what it says, title. the title. Ah, which brings me to an example. <laughs> Remember when we first met? Not when we first met, um, but afterwards. What kind of content were you guys watching that I found? And I'm like, and then I told your mom, like, hey, what the heck are these guys watching? And you guys found it funny, but I'm like, it's adult humor. What what what's that called? Because I don't know. I, I don't know the name of it. But I, you guys, do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yes. Yeah. Which one? We're watching Jeffy. Jeffy. Yeah, Jeffy. <coughs> so, as funny as it may be, it's adult content. So, you know, in case um, you guys don't know about this Jeffy channel, just if you guys have little kids, make sure you guys, you keep know. Keep it away from them. Keep it away from because it's, 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 it does, it's very adulterous. Yeah. I mean, it's, an, it's very adult content with puppets and everything. Kid puppets, like Super Mario Brother, and, but doing adult stuff. So stay away from that. Um, so, I mean, not that we're clowning on them. I mean, it, it works for an adult-based family, but not for kids. So that's just as a warning for for you guys. So, yeah. So they, have you guys been watching that again? No. I haven't right. caught them. Nope. So, and we um, haven't even caught ourselves either. There you go. So mostly... Um, <laughs> no. <laughs> because I haven't. There you go. So do you guys have it? These are just um, our opinions, our thoughts in regards to the Shane Dawson, the Jake Paul, and just in general, the YouTube 
in the YouTube world, just in the whole world, you know. Like we said, you know, it's 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 a hard world to live in. But, you know, if if we all could just have a big heart and care for each other, care for what, you know, we're providing out there for the rest of the world. You know, if it's positive, we're gonna live in a better world. If it's negative, this world's just gonna crumble and fall. So spread the love. Enough of the hate. And peace. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And hit that notification button for you to get for you to get notified whenever no, we upload. Yeah, yeah, whatever All, you that. Said. All that stuff. And let your buddies know about our channel. So like that they could be part of the Duran family. We love you guys. See you guys soon. Peace. Peace.